Howdy partners, welcome back to my channel. Hello everyone. Just wanted to pop in here and say, I'm mad that I didn't blow up and get famous off my Bratz video. So this one's gonna have to do better and you're gonna have to make me famous, okay? So that's just how it's gonna go. Um, you have to make me famous. You have no choice but to make me famous. Uh, yeah, so subscribe. Hey guys, so today, since I couldn't really think of anything else, I'm going to be reacting to old photos of myself. And this is going to be um, interesting for everybody because there's a few photos here that I have seen and um, wish I never did. But there's also some photos that I might not remember, you know, like basically I'm finding all of these off my mom's Facebook account because... <laughs> the real jackpot with these photos, you know what I mean? Like, so, I have my, my MacBook because I'm a YouTuber. So, I'm gonna go pretty far back. Let's just dive right in and all, you know what I mean? Some of them might be out of order too, like, some might be, like, newer than others, like, I might be older and some. Anyway, let's start with this picture. I really can't explain this, like, I remember getting this doll for Christmas and my grandma got me like matching like hat scarf boots kind of deal even though she's wearing skates. Um, I'm not showing the doll, I'm just holding it. Like I really look so uncomfortable. My pants look like they're about to fall off. But honestly this one's not that bad. This picture was not that bad. When you're that young. You can be ugly, but like people will still think you're cute because you're little. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah, definitely. This next one was probably my favorite Halloween costume ever because I really loved Kim Possible as a child. You know, the OG queen. You know what I mean? This is what I look like. Um,. I'm not kidding when I tell you that every single time my mom took a picture of me with the flash on, I blinked. Like, you already know if my mom's taking a picture with the flash. My eyes will be closed in that photo, and lo and behold, here we are. The wig is just amazing. It looks so real. I do remember, this was third grade, I really remember this so vividly. I go to school. The wig is making me sweat. I'm in a portable, and since I live in Canada, it's cold when Halloween happens, you know? And I'm like sitting at my desk, and I'm like, this wig is, this wig is itching, and um, this wig is sweaty. Um, I mean, it is purely plastic, like you can really just see. So I took it off and sat on it for the entire day. My back and my butt itchy. Why did I leave it there? I don't know. Clearly I have glasses. I've worn glasses since I was three and my eyesight has been like very bad. Um, so whenever, not as much now, but when I was younger, the moment I took my glasses off, my eyes would, you know, like, <laughs> you know, like, <laughs> um, <laughs> so, this picture, I'm wearing goggles shaped like frogs. Um, look at my eyeballs. Even sometimes, like now, I get a little, a little bit, like a little bit cross eye, like just a little bit. But I wouldn't even notice. Like if that was happening, I'd be like, like what's wrong? Like why are you looking at me weird? In their mind, I know they're just thinking, are you looking at me? Um, are you looking over there like I'm confused? Because that was a confusion for many. This next photo is another Halloween costume. Those are the best photos, you know? So, um, <laughs> I really do look petrified in this photo. I'm not sure why, but 
I guess I was just very conflicted with my costume. Because if I didn't tell you what I was, you would not have any clue. And this is nobody's fault but my own. So, I wanted to be dead Hannah Montana. So I've got the, you know, the makeup going for me here. And the outfit. But my hair is a little bit confusing. I mean, it's not the only confusing thing in this photo. But, like, I refused to wear a blonde wig because of the Kim Possible incident. I didn't want my head to be itchy. Like, I was like, no, I'm not wearing a wig. So it just ruined everything. But to be fair, if I still wore the wig, nobody would know what I am. Hello? Ice cream? <laughs> um, I came in to share ice cream with you. <laughs> you want some? Sure. <laughs> Like all of my cringy though. <laughs> well, no, but like, yeah, but like, no. <laughs> it's called Great Britain, and she wears the pink. Okay, so this next photo. This next photo is of my grade 8 grad picture. I remember straightening my hair in the scary, disgusting bathrooms at my school. I also remember getting braces the day after this photo was taken, which I had mixed feelings about. Because I was like, even if I get the braces now, they'll still be crooked in the photo. So I was like, you know what, I'm okay with that because I don't have braces and, you know, it's fine. I don't even know what app I used for this, but I put infinite as an overlay like on my photo uh this is literally at recess uh clearly i had so many friends at school i really just can't explain i can't explain these things but i do remember that like when i posted this so many girls from my school were like oh my gosh how did you do that because you know I've always been a social media influencer, so... This photo is iconic. This is on my grade 8 grad trip. We went to Niagara Falls for a few days. And so, we went into this like maze thing and I was like, with my friend Emily, and I was like, Emily, we have to take cute photos today. That's also her shirt, so shout out to you, Emily, if you're watching. But I really thought I was doing it. Like, I was like, wow, I just did that. Um, those shorts were way too big on me. Um, I'm wearing Tums. <laughs> that was my profile photo for a long time. Uh, just kidding. Six days later, I changed my profile photo because... It was my great egg rad day. I also thought I looked so amazing. Like I really thought I looked so amazing. I had a couple friends at the time that did my hair and makeup. Um, I felt like a queen, a real queen. I had like those fake nails on that you like got from Claire's and you just like stuck them on. But by the end of the night, <clears throat> cause you know, it was so wild. They were all gone, and I'm not kidding when I say all of them. I mean all of them. So these photos are starting in high school. Like now I'm in high school. I'm in ninth grade. I'm in ninth grade in these photos. Oh my gosh, this is also so iconic. This is the first time I ever shopped at Brandy Melville and that's all I ever wore was like the few shirts that I got there. And I'm not kidding, like these three photos are all Brandy Melville shirts because I think I'd seen like YouTubers wearing them. I think it was like probably Bethany Moda or something because I really loved her. Oh my god, speaking of which, I wish I still had this photo. But if any of you OG Bethany Moda followers remember when she made like the 
It's supposed to be a decoration. It was just like a camera out of Arizona cans. <coughs> I made it. It was horribly done, but I made it like I followed her little tutorial on how to make this decorative Arizona c camera thing. And she liked my photo on Instagram and I deleted it. I deleted it. So basically, the note said that I should react to my old dance videos, so comment down below if you want to see that. So anyway, I made that camera for, like, as decoration. It was like my first photo on Instagram too, and she liked it, and I literally not, like, I cried. I was so ecstatic. And it was right when she changed her name from Mac Barbie 07, I think that's what it was, uh, <sighs> to just like her name. I literally got stuff from Brandy Melville because she did. I'm pretty sure that's what it was. And then I had the iconic dress. If you remember Brandy Melville back then, it was, it's a black dress. All it looks like is a black t-shirt here, but it had like the triangle cutout at the back and then it was like a skater skirt on the bottom. I wore it on the first day of school because I was so iconic and I was a Brandy Melville legend. Time goes on, I still have braces. I start wearing makeup. This is when I was a flyer still and this was my first year going to the world championships. If you know cheer, you know what that is. I don't want to explain it, but it's like, it's pretty self-explanatory. And we had a little photo shoot as a team and at the time, I was a bit flexible, but I don't know why because I never was and I never stretched. Like I just, like they'd be like, okay, you need to stretch at home because like you're not as flexible as other flyers, which is, you know, true. And I was like, oh yeah, for sure. Went home, went straight to bed, never stretched. Anyway, somehow did pull this out of my butt hole. Um, I remember doing that multiple times and not being able to breathe and also breaking my back. So I remember this was also in high school. This was the end of grade nine. Um, my friend from elementary school, cause we didn't go to the same high school. We went to the beach together. Uh, and I have a flower crown on. I was really trying to be like Tumblr, I guess. Like the filter, oh my gosh. That was also when I got my like, my new phone. So I went from an iPhone four to an iPhone 5S. And the 5S had filters on it. Like it's own like photo filters, like the They'd still do now, but people just don't use them. <laughs> and I know why. <laughs> because I used one of the filters here, and I guess I thought it looked good, but the water looks uh, toxic. And it probably was, if I'm honest. I don't, I don't know. So this last photo is when I chopped my hair for the first, first time when I was like 10. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna um. So that's it for today's video. I love all my fans. Um, thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe and like this video and share it with other people so that they can see me so I can get famous. Um, and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.